hi my name is Nicole and welcome to my channel heart disease diaries today I wanted to share a little bit of why I chose to put my story out there in such a vulnerable way and create this YouTube channel but before I get into it please do me a huge favor hit that like button subscribe to my channel and pass this video along to anybody that you think it might be helpful to thanks so much myself wondering what did happen to the last 10 I ran away with my life fast forward never turn back again it's kind of funny that the more we pass time the more we need to set the rewind and 19 was the year I had to leave you but now I'm seeing all the signs is this really happening I can't believe it Before I get into why I made this channel, I want to share reasons why I did not create this channel or things that are not intentions of this channel. I did not make this channel to trauma dump or to evoke sympathy, to evoke pity, or to make my life look really sad or depressing or hopeless. It's really about what a gift it is to be a survivor in spite of all of this and what I've learned. It's not to push this toxic positivity or to be invalidating. It's about meeting ourselves where we're at and, you know, taking it from there. And I have to meet myself where I'm at every day. And every day it changes. Sometimes even throughout the day it changes. So it's not about toxic positivity. It's about validating where we're at and starting from where we're at because that's a good place to start. There are a few different reasons why, and the first one was to really share my story. I've had this disease basically all my life, and for the majority of the open heart surgeries and the strokes, I felt super isolated in my condition. So I wanted to share my story, especially for people who, you know, may not really know anybody their age who has, ha that has had these open heart surgeries. Another reason I wanted to share this channel was I wanted to share some lessons that I've learned in, in healing and recovering physically and psychologically from, you know, the toll of my chronic illness. I think it's been a really big monster to tackle recovering physically, but we're taught a lot how to do that, luckily, with you know, our doctors, our surgeons, and our nurses. They tell us what foods to eat, to get plenty of sleep, to exercise, and things like that. So we're told how to recover physically from what happens with chronic illness or, or surgeries, but there wasn't really a lot of discussion about the risk of you know, having a mood and anxiety disorder because of what happens. So I wanted to share just how I've recovered because I've learned a lot with all of these surgeries and these strokes. I've learned what to do, what works. I've also learned what not to do. And I've fallen on my face plenty of times and I wanted to pass that along. In the same vein, since I am a therapist and I have been, you know, a therapist for six years working with clients individually and in groups and I know a lot of coping skills and evidence-based practices I really want to share that because it's you may not have ever met anybody that has had one stroke or multiple strokes but maybe this channel is your introduction into meeting somebody me who has had this and so i wanted to just really humanize people that have these conditions that you might have heard about or read about in textbooks and make you feel a little bit more comfortable and just kind of introduce you to my world because in spite of all of these illnesses like i have a very happy fulfilled life i am part of a community i have you know a wonderful job i love my clients I love watering my plants. I love making my own kombucha. I love being active and I'm getting back into lifting weights and jogging. So 
I just want to show you the other side of illness. This is not my identity, although it is part of me and it is part of my identity. And so I just wanted to kind of, you know, break any stigmas about people living with chronic conditions. And the last reason I wanted to create this channel is because I wanted to show that you can still live a full, productive, meaningful, happy, and healthy life in spite of chronic illness. Like I have had so many crazy things happen to my body and I don't know what the future holds, but I do know this. Every day I make choices to make sure that I'm having the most fulfilled, best quality of life that I can. So I wanna show that and I wanna just show the different dimensions. Like you can be in the workforce, you can be in the professional sphere, you can be in the, vol you can volunteer, you can be part of your church and your community. Okay, so thank you for listening. These are the reasons why I created this channel. Please send me a comment in the comment section about any videos or content that you think could be helpful. And again, if you or anybody that you know would like a card of encouragement, with your chronic illness, send me an email at heartdiseasediaries at gmail.com and I would love to send you an email card of encouragement. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.